Hello there. So today we're gonna be doing some few drawing using the loft fun the loft function. So first I'm gonna start by the simplest of all. So I'm gonna draw this octagon of mine. There is my octagon, and I'm gonna try to give it dimensions. So that one needs to be 40 millimeters. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to say finish sketch. And then from the, what I'm going to do is, remember, that was done in XY plane. So I'm going to go on origin and select XY. I come up V. I, ch I choose plane. Then I click on it. Then I drag it up. I drag it up. Then I'm going to say, let's go up to, um, this is the height from my first plane to my second plane let's say let's go up to 30 millimeters so that is 30 millimeters then i come here on my plane i right click then i say new sketch yeah. i click on the plane so after that let's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to put an offset so let's say i come here and then i say oh that's only to be now the first one was an octagon, so this is not need to be an hexagon. So I come here, I draw my hexagon. There is my hexagon. Okay. They say up V. Then I say finish sketch. Then I go there, up there, 3D model. I choose loft function. So this is a good function that can match up different shapes. Okay, so that shape up this one then i say okay so this is how this one looks check now this is how this one looks it looks weird over right? this is what it our uh, loft function can do so now i'm gonna create another drawing okay this might be a little bit difficult maybe i'm not sure so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start by let's say seco i start with a seco <coughs> sorry I start with a circle and then I give dimension. Well, let's say that's one to be, uh, let's give it 50 millimeters. So that's one need to be 50 millimeters. Okay. I say finish sketch. Then I come there, I say origin. I go on uh, XY. I come up there, I say plane. And then I select this plane. Then I hold, I go up, let's say up to 40, yeah, 40, does not matter, but I, look, <clears throat> let's make it our way, 40, then I come there, I click on it, on it again, so there you go, let's go with uh, uh, an octagon, let's choose an octagon, so that needs to be an octagon, okay, then let's make sure that it's in the same plane, so let's go with that dimension v up v and uh, we don't have to care much about the dimension though because uh, this is just to show you how this can be done let's say done there and then i say finish sketch okay then again i choose plane i select my plane again i go up again up to let's say uh, 40 40 millimeters so that's 40 millimeters I come here, I say new sketch, I click on it, then what I'm gonna select now? Octagon? No, hexagon. I select that one, that's an hexagon. I go, let's say, up to this. So I want it to be smaller than my first shape. So then I say done, I say finish. So let's carry on. Let's see how that's gonna get again. Yeah. I come up there, I choose plane again. I select my third and drag to my fourth. Let's say up to 40 millimeter. And again, I select my plane. Then I say new sketch. Okay, now I'm going with a circle. Let me try to match up this circle with the first one. There we go. And I say finish sketch. Now 
I select my loft function, my loft function. I go with my first sketch, select my second, my third, my fourth. So now, there we go. Look at how your drawing looks like now. So, differently from extrude function, revolve function, this is what loft function can do. So, we can match up different shapes or different sketch and make it one. So, it was my pleasure sharing this video with you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. And uh, let me then say bye and see you on the next video.